Joining me live in the studios today, it's Bonobo. Welcome. Hi. How's it going? It's great. It's fabulous to have you here. So even better now that you're here. Thank you so much for coming in today. You're welcome. Thanks for having us down. Well, I'm excited to hear some music. Want to start off with a couple songs? Yeah, sure. All righty. Take it away.
Well done. Nicely Thank done. You. It's Bonobo live on KEXP songs from the new album, The North Borders, which I love. Great job on that as well. Thanks. It's again so wonderful to have you all here. You just make it sound effortless. 
working together. Have you all been playing together for a long time? Um, well, this kind of this format is the, the, the sort of the live band, uh, and I guess sort of most of us have been doing it for. I mean, uh, yeah, I kind of started doing the, the live thing in about 2006, uh, and kind of half of us uh, have been there since then, and, and a couple of others have just been on since this album, really. I guess when you're professional, you can just jump on board at any part on the train and make it sound <laughs> good. <laughs> you, you, you mentioned um, 2006 going to the live format. You've been making music for a long time. It's been a decade and a half, give or take. Almost, yeah. And... Um, the new album is great, and it makes me wonder, do you have any specific inspiration or a thread when you're starting, or um, do you just kind of go, go in full force? And Yeah, I mean, I just, I tend to, to just sort of, you know, let the music be more of a re reflection of the kind of palette of music that I'm listening to at the time, really. I never start out with a manifesto as such. I just kind of want it to be a reflection of where I'm at musically at that time. So, you know, it's kind of developed a little bit in those 10 years and it's it's, it's, it's kind of followed my taste rather than where I, you know, think it's sort of should go. But, but yeah, it's been a, it's a, yeah, it's a sort of developing sound, I guess. Speaking of your taste, you use a lot of samples in your work. Um, some of them recorded, some of them you create on your own. Do you find that you go back to an older sound, or are you using more contemporary music, or is it a mix? Well, I'm, I mean, I'm still sampling, but I'm sampling in a different way than, than I used to. I think when I started out, it was from a far more basic approach. It was is that sort of, that kind of old school kind of hip-hop approach of cut and paste and sort of digging for breaks on records but I think I've moved on now to, to, to sort of possibly be you know be a bit more sort of progressive with the way I use samples and, and re you know I'm recording stuff from the ground up now whereas before I was just sort of you know playing around with loops so this is a little more I think it's just the, the more I learn about how to produce then it kind of the sound expands what are some of the more unexpected, um, or some of the unexpected samples you've kind of got buried in this record that we might not, well, might I've been, not catch on first listen? I've been using a lot of um, sort of foley recording on this record, so you know a lot of the drums, especially, are from things like you know sort of paper coffee cups or like dropping coins into water or scrunching paper into a microphone. So I'm kind of looking for more, you know, interesting textures to to start. And sort of, you know, to replace kind of like bass notes with with things that sound like you know have ever sort of come some kind of notation or tone. So I'm just kind of interested more in sort of find, you know a lot of found sound stuff on this record. It sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. You can spend a whole afternoon just you know dropping nuts and bolts onto a carpet and recording it. It's kind of uh, you can really sort of get in, get <laughs> zone out a little bit sometimes. And then you bring in these fine folks and uh, you've yeah. got the live show. Speaking of which, tomorrow night you'll be at the Commodore Ballroom in Vancouver. Yes. And coming back through Seattle yep. playing Showbox at the Market on Wednesday. Exactly, exactly, yeah. Well, how exciting. Do you have time for a couple more songs? Yeah, absolutely. All right, love that. Bonobo live here on KEXP. Stay. 
Bonobo live on KEXP playing this Wednesday at Showbox at the Market. That was awesome. Thank you again so much. Thanks for having us. It's great to have you all here. You're listening to KEXP Seattle.